One of the requirements of the Periodic Table Poster Project is to use text boxes to insert and organize information such as the paragraphs that you wrote related to your element. In order to create a text box, you have to use the Insert menu located here on a document and tell it that you would like to start by creating a drawing, which is located near the top of the menu. There it is right there. Click Drawing, and you will see a drawing um, workspace appear in front of you, like so. The text box command, or text box option, is located in the top row underneath the capital letter T with a box-like structure around it. Click on it. Bring the uh, drawing cross into your uh, workspace and draw a text box of any size you like. Once you've drawn it, you can always adjust the sizes of it later by clicking and moving the little um, boxes on the sides any way you like. Now to put information into the text box, we're simply going to paste it in there. Earlier, you should have written a paragraph that should be ready to go. Highlight that material and copy it. And come on over to your text box to paste it in. But wait a minute. Text boxes will only allow a paste by using the Control V command. I'll show you here. I'm going to click on the text box to get it ready to receive information. And on the keyboard, I'm going to put my finger on Control and V, hold the Control and type the V in, and we should get the paragraph to appear. That's how you paste it in. Again, you can resize that text box and watch the text will format to whatever size you uh, choose to make it. Now to make your text box a little bit more finished, you have several finishing options that you may want to uh, choose. You have the option of highlighting the text inside and altering fonts. You may use bold, italic, and other options, text colors, etc. You have centering alignment and vertical alignment available options right here. You should also note that you can give your text box a border by changing, um, well, first of all, here you've got the border weight tool where you can make your border thicker or thinner, or make a relatively thick border. You can change the color of the border under this pen and change it to whatever border color you like. And you even have different border styles, some of dashed lines, solid lines, etc. If you'd like a background in your text box, fill color is an option that's available to you as well. I don't recommend using color of this nature unless you have a reason to do so, such as to communicate specific information related to your topic. Using color simply for decoration can often get a little overwhelming uh, if it's used indiscriminately. Once your text box is ready to go, I think we're going to use a relatively um, straightforward design here. You can save and close it and it will pop up in your document. At this point, by clicking on it, you have the option to break or wrap text. Please choose to wrap the text, absolutely. And if you'd like to move your, you can change margin widths on it, and so on and so forth. And if you'd like to move your text box around the page, you can now pick it up and move it wherever you'd like to place it. You can organize this on your final document along with other text box elements according to your liking. That's it. Not so bad. Good luck.